What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Falcon ASL Series M4. Oh, this gun is so far impressed me by a lot. Uh, the accuracy, the range, it's just amazing. Even after the slight DIY mod that I had to do uh, in order to run a tracer unit. It, this, this goes only if you want to run a tracer unit. If you don't, if you just want to run your standard muzzle brake that comes with the gun, the orange, the one with the orange tip, you don't have to do this. Um, but if you, or if you want to just run like another muzzle brake that doesn't come with the orange tip, you're fine. You don't have to saw off the barrel. Um, what you do would be you would have to push this pin apart, push this pin off, comes right out like this, like that, and then you would have to unscrew this with a with a with an L key or an Allen key. Uh, it's I think a two and a half millimeter and it comes right out. This is for the sling and it holds the whole barrel together. Do not lose this because uh, you will be kind of shrewd. You will have your, your barrel kind of being a little bit wobbly. Um, and if you plan on removing the sling part, you're gonna have this part of the, uh, the gun kind of sliding back. So I wouldn't recommend removing the sling. If you wanna just hold it with some tape, I'd say do that. Um, to run a tracer unit, you will have to end up sawing a, a bit of the, like about an inch off the barrel. Now you could do what someone, you could go and buy an adapter from, from this person who, on YouTube that I saw. Because when I was trying to remove the, the muzzle brake, uh, they said that they sold an adapter. I personally don't want to run an adapter because I don't want to change the look of the gun. I want to keep it um low profile i want to keep it perfectly like looking like how it came out of the box so i just went ahead and sawed this off um i saw it off about like i said an inch about that much uh if you want to take a screenshot go ahead uh right here okay now if you want to copy what i did that's fine go ahead uh iron sights the iron sights on this are so amazing so you have two sets of iron sights. If you don't want to run the flip ups, you have like an MP7 style kind of iron sight. Uh, as you can see right here, you have your two little prongs right here and then the last one right here. Or if you want to run the flip ups, here you go. The flip up does have an adjustability right here if you want to move it to the left or to the right. Uh, I don't like these this kind of iron sight, so I just keep them down because I love running an MP7 style iron sight that's why I, I actually wanted this gun just because of the iron sights and the look of the gun um it, in the package you get your your rails so it does come to add um attachment rails right here so it comes with two two little tiny ones about this big uh you can place them down below on the sides you know in case you want to run a flashlight or a grip personally i like the, the style of the gun like this no grip no nothing just a sleek look uh it also comes with a 360 round high cap mag now if you do plan on buying magazines i highly recommend that you go with the six millimeter pro shop uh 36 360 round flash mag mainly because it is going to fit perfectly you're not going to have any issues with it if you try to run in a and k 300 round acr type high cap mag it's not going to fit um i tried it when i got the gun today it didn't work it just wouldn't click at all so i wouldn't recommend buying the a and k 300 round i'd say go with the six millimeter pro shop uh it's a lot better it fits perfectly and you don't uh, have to worry about spending like $15 and then the mag not fitting. Even though the 6mm Pro Shop is a little bit more pricey, you are guaranteed to have a good fit. Um, the stock, so the battery goes in here. Uh, the stock has two clips right here. Uh, one right here and then right here that you pinch. Uh, it is kind of hard when you pinch them um so just be careful when pinching them because you do have to use a lot of pressure but besides that it's pretty good uh extends a good amount um i wouldn't run it this much i would probably around run around this much uh this is my personal preference if you like running a full stock go ahead uh 
what else? It comes so this and the switches, so it comes with a safety, a semi, and a full auto. Now, in most fields, you're not going to be able to use the full auto, uh, so you're usually going to be just using semi. Um, the switches are on both sides of the gun, so you have it on the right, and you also have it on the left, as you can see right there. So if you're left-handed and you hold the gun like this, you have the switch right here. If you're right-handed like me, you have the switch right over here on your left hand. So, or on the left side of the gun, whereas if you're left-handed, you have it on the right side. Um, the gun does have some weight to it. It weighs maybe a pound more than the Swordfish MP5 A4. Um, besides that, the trigger, if you're into paintballing, uh, you have a good amount of wiggle room. I have really big fingers. Um, I have sausage fingers and I still have a lot of room. If you have uh, tiny fingers, you're gonna be able to do, you're gonna be able to double tap with this gun. I don't know how much the FPS is. Um, on Evike's website, it says that the FPS is between 340 and 360. I won't know until I get a crow node in, on Friday at Project N1. So it comes with a hop up, there, there you go. Um, it's right there, you can dial it. Honestly, um, you don't need to really mess with it. The gun's accuracy is already perfect out of the box. If your gun does tend to shoot, like it doesn't shoot straight, sometimes it shoot, curves up or goes down, you might wanna have to adjust, you might have to adjust the hop up. But besides that, this gun has a, came with good accuracy right out of the box. It shoots perfectly straight. I saw some of the reviews, people were saying that the gun was bad, that the that it didn't shoot straight, that sometimes the hop up was bad. I, ha I did not have any defects when I got the gun out of the box, maybe I just got lucky. Um, besides that, I give this gun a solid 7.6 out of 10, just because of the fact that I had to saw off part of the barrel and it, it, it kind of does ruin the gun, unfortunately. I, the battery I would recommend running is a 1200 mega amp uh, 7.4 LiPo battery. It's a butterfly stick. Uh, it's a butterfly type uh, stick battery. Uh, the battery went for like around $25, $26. But other than that, this gun came perfectly out of the box. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on Friday about how much the Chrono is and how the gun does. Until then, I will see y'all later and have a good night.